Travel Daily UK is proudly sponsored by Sabre Travel Network, bringing you Sabre Red, the best solution to help you drive customer loyalty. Impress your customers today with Sabre Red. Hello, this is Sally Andrews and welcome to the UK edition of TDTV. Adta, British Airways and Virgin Atlantic have criticised today's introduction of an increase to airport passenger duty. Virgin Atlantic and Adta have warned that the 55% rise in taxes will make long-haul travel unaffordable for customers. From today, passengers flying economy to Bay Bodis, the West Indies, Aruba or Antigua will each pay an extra £75, while family travelling to the US may pay an additional £240. British Airways has reported a six-month operating profit of nearly £300 million, a significant improvement on its loss of more than £100 million for the same period last year. BA announced that it returned to profitability with profit before tax of £160 million. Chief Executive Willie Walsh said that the revenue increase was primarily driven by yield improvements. In other news, Sandals Resorts International has announced that it will pump £30 million into redeveloping its Sandals and Beaches Resorts in Jamaica. Under the changes, Sandals Grande Ocho Rios will receive nearly £16 million to develop 14 food outlets, a new pool area with increased deck space, a new boardwalk lounge and renovated accommodation. Meanwhile, Sandals White House European Village and Spa has already received a new look lobby area, restaurants and spa treatment rooms. Air France is to offer greater worldwide connectivity from Birmingham Airport following the increase of flights between the two cities. As part of the new relationship, Air France operations from Birmingham Airport to Paris Charles de Gaulle and Lyon will move from Terminal 1 to Terminal 2 from today. The joint venture with Flybe will not only bring Air France's gateway closer to the West Midlands, but Air France will increase its Paris frequencies in up to six flights every weekday. And finally, in today's news, the Jamaican Tourist Board has launched the world's first destination film in 3D. The film, which has been created by Exposure 4, will debut at next week's highly anticipated World Travel Mart in London. Spending one day in the life of the Caribbean island state, the film showcases both Jamaica's traditions and its embracing of modern technology. Just make sure you don't forget to bring a pair of 3D glasses. And that's it for today. Thanks for joining us on the UK edition of TDTV. We'll see you again tomorrow.